Hello and welcome to another episode. I'm your host, The Highway Ghost, and today I'm in Gibtown, Florida, an area that's very historic in the circus and sideshow history of the United States. Gibsonton, or as the showmen call it, Gibtown, has an interesting history. The story starts out in the year of 1920, as the legend goes, when a couple by the name of Eddie and Grace LeMay were traveling south through Florida when they stopped along this highway, which at the time was a major road, to catch a fish and they had their supper while traveling with their little carnival restaurant. Well, this later on involved into a fish camp that by the 1940s, two circus performers by the name of Al Tomaney and his wife, Jenny, set up a fish camp, restaurant, mobile home park, and basically started a place for showmen to have a place to get away from the road during the winter months here in Florida. Well, Al Tomaney was the giant, a man that stood eight foot five inches tall, and his wife was the living half woman. And Jenny was only two foot tall and didn't have a body from the waist down. Now they also, they were booked as the world's strangest couple and they pretty much founded Gibtown. I mean, I know it was around 1943, I think it was, when the couple came here, but located right along the Alifati River was Gibtown's giant camp. Now, if you look up here, sadly, the last remaining piece of Gibtown circus history was one of the cottages built by the giant himself, Al Tomaney. Well, the other day, I got word from a lady that's a retired carnival worker that the giant's cottage was burned by vandals or homeless people. It's still under investigation. Well, this is sad because being a fan of the circus and sideshow, I wanted to able, be able to, you know, come and see this for what it was. This property is owned by a certain company now. I think it's like Mosaic or something that bought this. And they put a fence up and they preserved that one cottage. But before, within days before I got here to film this historic location at the monument with his boot, they burned it to the ground. There's only a few pieces of the structure still left. So let's walk up and see the giant's boot, which is a memorial to Al and Jenny, and also the remains of the last cottage that served as part of the giant's camp or the giant's fish camp that Gibtown was so proud of. This is all that remains here at the Giants Camp, founded by Al and Jenny Tamani, Gibsonton Civic Leaders. And then back here was where the cottage was. It was built by Al Tomani. And it was burnt by what they thought were homeless people just a few nights ago. Littered with garbage is this historical piece of circus history. No respect whatsoever. That's sad, man. And until today, you can still cruise around Gibtown and you can see carnival rides and vending uh, like food trucks and stuff like that sitting all about on people's property. And there was actually a law passed that give the showmen the right to have both exotic animals on their property and also give them the right to store and house circus equipment because Florida has some strange zoning laws. But that is forever past for these people that still work the midway. I wish I could have came here and walked around back in the 60s. And I mean, you would have seen 
Priscilla the monkey girl and her long flowing hair that covered her body and her husband the alligator man you would have probably seen Lobster Boy Grady Styles Jr. You would have might have bumped into Ward Hall the ringleader and the last of the showmen sadly he's gone too and you would have saw Al and Jenny working out here at their fish camp taking care of their property and helping the show folks have a place to relax. Gibtown's not what it used to be, but for everybody that's a fan of the circus and the sideshow, you can still at least come and visit the monument. Now the boot that you see up there is a replacement because the original Giants boot, it fell into despair and they took it down and they made one that, you know, is a little bit better because I'm assuming it's probably concrete. But yeah, I just wanted to come document this as well as visit Al and Jenny's grave sites if I can locate them. This is a piece of history. Not far from the Giants camp is the famous Showtown Bar and Grill. But sadly, they've painted over the sideshow mural and now it's more like a brewery kind of type theme. Yeah, this is where the circus folks hung out. Ward Hall and his performers. Everybody from the Lobster Boy to the famous Lizard Man from Hell's a Poppin'. They've all been here, so this is a piece of show history. They've took the murals out inside as well, so there's really no point in even going in. Sadly, I'm on the tail end of the circus. But I can say I was here. 2022 things have changed in Gibtown. Another shot of the famous sign around back. Well, there you have it folks. What's left of the circus sideshow history in Gibtown, Florida. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I wish there was more to show, but there truly isn't. I highly recommend any fan of the circus or sideshow, carnival, any of that. If you want to know the history of this area, the best way to do so, besides reading the books on it or watching YouTube videos, is to actually visit the Showman Museum located across the river from Gibtown in Riverview, Florida. I got a video on that you have to check out. Well, until next time, I'm the Highway Ghost. Thanks for watching, and like always, stay tuned for more Strange Travels.